This is Randall. Good shot. Straight down the ground. And that was a fine shot. Went right under the middle of the cycle. Now, could it be any straighter than that? Another fine shot. Beautiful shot. Classic cover drive. England at the moment need exactly one more run to equal their first innings total. Oh, that's a great shot. Pulled away from the mid-wicket. Very, very subtle, and I think that you see an Englishman being able to hook Lily in front of square. Great shot by Randall. Moves on now to 42. And he's got the other way all right this time. Beautifully played, square on the offside. And just reaching the boundary, and that four bring up the 100 for England. That's it, turned away nicely off his legs. It's a single, and goes through to 50. So the first 50 for an Englishman in the centenary test. Uh, Keep to Randall. A sweep shot there, yes, it's wide of Lily. It's going down towards the boundary. And Lily's after it. He may not get it. It's going to be close, but the ball wins. Oh, fine shot. That's getting out towards the boundary. A chase for Cozier and Hooks. The two of them racing after it. They've taken two and turning for three. Randall up to 95. And wide between the gap there again, going down to the boundary. He's gone to 99. And they're going for a run. That's his hundred. Magnificent effort. Randall, Eric Randall, a hundred in his first test against Australia. A very great effort indeed, and it's been a fine innings throughout. And that's oh, him on the head, a bad head. one. Bad one. And there's an appeal there. The ball's gone to second slip and court. Now the batsman is down. Which is quite short. It gets up rather quickly, this one. It's rather short, but he doesn't see it. He gets right up high now. He pulls everything away. Look, right on the head. It's a wonder he cap didn't fall on the wicket. It's a wonder he didn't fall on the wicket. Down he goes. Chapel to Randall. No ball. And down it goes to backward square leg. A chase there for Walker. He won't get it. And into the fence for four more. Lily to Randall. Lily to Randall. They're through for a single, and Randall, 150. He's beaten for a second time, and Greg Chappell asking, and he's given him out. And it's Rodney Marsh. Yes, agreed. It was some doubt initially as to whether that ball had carried, but the end of a marathon performance there. And has it been recalled? There's some doubt as to whether that ball carried. And I've an idea that Rod Marsh initially said he didn't think it carried. The umpire gave him out. He's coming now to consult with Max O'Connell, the other umpire, and they've told him to stay. Randall, 161, four for 324. 139 to win. And through the field, a beautiful shot. And that goes into the fence for four. Randall moves to 167. Walker from this end to bowl to Randall. And through the covers, what a glorious shot. He thrashed that through as a fine cover driver. Caught is he? He's walked. He's gone. Randall caught by Kozia. Well, there's a bit of poetic justice. Kozia taking an absolutely brilliant catch off the bowling O'Keefe. And there's a wonderful innings. I'm sure he'll get this man will get a standing ovation for this extraordinary performance of scoring 174. One of the finest innings we've seen in years and years on this Melbourne ground. And the player, Derek Randall. And everybody here is standing up to give him a tremendous ovation as he comes back to the pavilion after an absolutely 
fantastic mark. Well, let's let the applause speak for itself. In 1877, the man of the match was undoubtedly Charles Bannerman. He did, in fact, receive a publicly subscribed cash award. In 1977, there is a cash award of $1,500 and the Benson and Hedges gold medallion to the player of the match, selected by a panel of seven. And their choice for the man of the match is the man that in his first test match made 174, Derek Randall. Oh dear. Uh, I'd just like to thank everybody for, well, for being here, and uh, thank, thank you very much for the, uh, for the trophy. And before I leave, I'd just like to thank, thank Dennis for the bump on the side of the head, actually. But, uh, thanks very much for this. Derek Randall's innings today has been the best innings of the Test match. I feel he's been under tremendous pressure. He's taken the attack to Dennis Lilly, and... Uh, it's great to see a batsman um, realising he's just a mortal and not a, some ghost. Uh, he's uh, played up to Dennis Lilly and he's won every round so far. Dennis Lilly's bounced him and he's hooked well. He's hooked to the ground most times and uh, he's not to be shaken up by the experience of Dennis Lilly. Derek Randall is what England's been looking for since Ted, De Ted Dexter, I feel. A batsman that can go in at three and is a confident player, play some shots and handle fast bowling, which is most important.